Hello friends, this video on heat part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. In many scenarios where medium is not available but still we want heat to get transferred, what will happen? there takes place radiation. Now do you think that any such scenario ever arises where there is no medium but still we want heat to be transferred? Yes, of course. The most common example would be the sun rays reaching the earth. Now between sun and earth a lot of vacuum space would be coming. In the space we really don't know if medium is present everywhere or not. In fact atmosphere is not present everywhere. But still the sun rays manage to reach from the sun to the earth. So this happens by radiation. So radiation is that mode of transfer of heat between two bodies separated by a distance even in vacuum. So even if there is no medium between the two objects but still heat can be transferred from one object to the other. So now the question is, I mean how is it possible that heat is being transferred in vacuum when there are no particles to carry it. So it is possible in the same way how you throw a ball from A to B. So A and B didn't have to depend on anybody else to carry the ball. So in radiation also no medium is required. So the question is how exactly this radiation gets transmitted. So let us look at the most common example of radiation. So as I said, the radiation from the sun is able to reach the earth the, and the distance between the sun and the earth includes a lot of vacuum space as well. So how does this heat transfer happens? So this heat transfer happens in the form of electromagnetic waves and these are electromagnetic waves which are also called EM waves. So what are electromagnetic waves? These are waves which can propagate in vacuum. So that is one special feature that they have that these waves, this is how they are represented and they can travel through vacuum. Now not all waves can travel through vacuum. Vacuum is what? It is empty space which doesn't even contain air. And also these electromagnetic waves travel really fast. So they travel with the speed of light. So speed of light is generally 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So which is a very high speed. And that is the reason why radiation travels very fast. It is also, it is not only a mode of heat transfer in vacuum, but also the fastest mode of heat transfer. Now, these electromagnetic waves are created by vibration of electric charges. They involve both electric and magnetic components. And that is why you see they are marked in blue and red. So blue and red represent the electric and magnetic components respectively. There are different types of electromagnetic radiation which exists like the visible light, infrared light, x-rays, etc. So they are all different types of electromagnetic radiation. You will learn more about electromagnetic radiation in your class 12 where you will learn electromagnetic waves. But for now, you can just understand that the radiation happens in the form of electromagnetic waves. So as these waves move uh, from one point to another, so the radiation also moves in their form. And because it travels through in the form of electromagnetic waves, that is why they are able to travel through vacuum. That is why they are able to travel with the speed of light, which is very, very high. So it, the heat transfer from the sun to the earth is a classic example of radiation. Now as I said, how exactly radiation cause heat transfer? It transfers through electromagnetic waves. And the name itself tells that it involves both electric field as well as magnetic field. It propagates through vacuum at the speed of light as I said because both of these are the property of the electromagnetic waves that they can travel through vacuum they can travel at the speed of light that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. Now that we are talking about radiation, now it is it is not only that that uh, the sun sun to earth is not the only example of radiation. Now any object they tend to release, they tend to emit heat energy, any object by virtue of its temperature. So any object which is heated has a tendency to emit radiation. 
so all hot bodies radiate heat and this heat which is being radiated by hot bodies is called thermal radiation now this can happen in presence of a medium this can happen in vacuum so this can happen anywhere so in one way i am trying to say that all of us are always radiating heat because human bodies also have some temperature our body also contains some heat and by virtue of that temperature or by virtue of that heat we are also radiating some amount of heat so you would have observed that when you have only one person inside a room and the same room you have instead of one you have 10 persons inside the same room you start feeling hotter why because all those persons are radiating some amount of heat so that room is more heated when there are more number of people so that shows that all human be human beings also radiate heat and this type of heat which gets radiated are called thermal radiation because this radiation happens by virtue of heat so you think of a cup of coffee so if you leave a hot cup of coffee on the table for some time what happens the surroundings of the cup of coffee tends to become hotter why because heat gets radiated from the coffee to the surroundings similarly you think of a candle so the candle is also radiating heat so the heat is being radiated to the surroundings you think of uh, this heater or you think of uh, your cooking i mean wherever you are cooking so when you remain inside the kitchen you tend to feel more hot because a lot of heat is being emitted inside the kitchen in fact all human beings also radiate heat energy so now what happens when this heat or when this radiation fall on some other object so we are saying that okay we radiate heat but that heat falls on some other object now this radiation falling on any object gets partly reflected some part of it get it gets absorbed and some part also gets transmitted now what do we mean by these so some part gets reflected so that means heat falls this radiation falls on an object and it gets reflected so it is not actually taken inside by that object the second thing is absorbed that means it falls on an object and it is taken inside so basically the heat comes inside that object so that object is going to get hotter so the temperature of the object will increase and the third thing that can happen is it can get transmitted that means the heat will pass through that object and it will get into some other thing so one thing is it will get reflected in that case the temperature of that object will not increase if it gets absorbed yes the temperature will get increased so now this property is used in a lot of day to day applications so we will look at some of the examples right now so but i hope this concept of thermal radiation is clear all objects which are hot will radiate heat in the surroundings and this heat which is radiated when when it falls on some other object so some part of it will get reflected some part of it will get absorbed some part will get transmitted so that is how the concept of radiation works now if an object absorbs a large amount of heat so its temperature will increase and therefore it will tend to become hotter thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.